Hey guys, how's everyone doing? I hope everyone's safe. Wash your hands really good. Um, so we're doing this video uh, lesson here. Uh, this will count as uh, extra credit if you bring it to me. So, um, but uh, I want everyone to uh, just enjoy yourself, hunker down at home. So what I'm gonna do for, for stained glass, if you didn't make a terrarium, you need an extra project, you need some extra credit, we're gonna make this paper one, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to make it. I haven't finished taping this off yet. I could tape it off at the very end like that. Uh, it doesn't have to have a bottom. I just want you to basically learn how to make a three-dimensional shape. So let me show you how to do that. I did a one piece of paper, and I'm gonna make these things here to start with, but I'm gonna do this super low tech. All I'm gonna use is a pencil, scissors, and then for my ruler, in case you don't have a ruler at home, I'm gonna use just a notebook. But you can use lots of things just for a straight edge. It doesn't have to be a notebook. It's just anything that's a straight line. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I have to create this. Now there was a pattern, I think, put online uh, as well, but I have to make this piece here, okay? So I'm gonna start by um, figuring out how big I want that. And so I can look at it and I'll go, well, you know what? Just like I made those stained glass pieces in class, I'm gonna put this down here. And I know that this line's straight with here, okay? So that makes this pretty much straight. And I'm gonna put a line across, didn't, didn't measure or anything, okay? And then I'm going to make one line here, but I'm gonna use my straight edge to do that, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut this. And I'm gonna take the piece of paper here and fold it. And that should give me a relatively symmetrical. I think so I'll cut it like that. So this one's gonna be larger than my other one. It's fine. Just make sure they match up and I'll show you. So now I have this piece here. And what I know is I need to make this one, two, three, four, five more of them. So simply just take that just like the glass and you would lay it down, it's the exact same thing. Remember this is optimizing materials, we talked about this. I'm gonna use my piece of paper here and my pencil and make a line, then flip it and make another line, just like in class. Because hey, why would you wanna work hard when you could work lazy, you know? And also optimize material. Clearly this is just paper, but on the other hand, this is what we were learning in class. Okay, then I have one, two, three, four, five, five of them. So I'm gonna cut those out. You might get a guest appearance from my cat in just a bit. He's rubbing on my legs right now. I know, that's pretty exciting stuff. I'm trying to do this quick because why, why spend a super time? So I have all those pieces. I'm going to put those to the side just for a second. And I'm going to grab my piece of paper that I have here. Any piece of paper will do, by the way. If you don't happen to have, it can be lined, it doesn't matter. So if you want this extra credit, because I know some of you, your grades, uh, you might want a little bump on them. So now I'm gonna make this piece here. So how do I make that? Well, the same way I did the other one, I'm just going to take this, my ruler, and make a line. Now, how wide does that thing need to be? Well, it needs to be as wide as this piece. So you take that piece here, and this will determine how big the base is. So I'll make a little line, and then use my ruler again. And I could make it as tall or, or short or whatever. It doesn't really matter, as long as this bottom part here is the same as this part. Now, once I get those cut out, let's pretend I cut all that out. The way to tape this together and I'll just do the bottom part here because it'll make sense, it'll be the same, is I'm gonna lay these next to each other like this. And get some tape, any tape will do. Hopefully you guys have tape at home. I would think you would. And you tape them together when they're flat and then you'll take it and bend them over. That's why this one is not closed yet. 
because I can take the last piece of tape, fold it up. And attach it. I did a bad job, but that's the idea. And then attach the last piece. So at any rate, I hope you guys have have a good break. My cat wants to say hi. This is George. He's really super friendly. He just keeps going in and out of the house. Um, but anyway, that's my cat, George. So I hope you guys have a really good break. Be safe. Wash your hands. Hunker down. Do something fun. Try to do some puzzles, board games. Something, because it's going to be a while you guys are going to be in the house, so you might as well treat this like a snow day. All right. Good luck, everybody. Post your things online, uh, and I'll bump up your grades.